Hey guys, I hope you're good. And today we will review the pack from my friend, the French Monkey. We will see the landscape kit. So the French Monkey has released this new pack with uh, 10 unique landscape with 8K resolution. I will show you a really objective uh, overview and a workflow with this pack. So if you want to buy it, you will have a real demo with a real workflow on this pack. So I invite you to check out uh, what you can do with this uh, landscape pack. They all looks really nice, but I will try myself this pack to see uh, if it worth it or not. And I think uh, it's an amazing pack for all the guys who want to do uh, great mountains. So for the story, I think this pack was made with one machine and all the different landscapes are uh, with four different seasons and we will see directly inside C4D with cycle 4D what you can do with this pack uh, before starting uh, before we start I invite you to check out the French monkey uh, really great artist French uh, living Greece and I love these renders and I think uh, it's a great inspiration I invite you too to subscribe to our account MHS Prod and feel free to check uh, our different renders. Uh, I hope you will have uh, inspiration too. And check out uh, our Instagram motion designers. I post here uh, renders that I like and really great source of inspiration too. So if you're new to this channel, you will see that we have a lot of French content, but we often uh, have uh, English content too. So I invite you to subscribe and check out uh, if uh, you have uh, some English content that um, uh, put interest for, for you. And sorry for my bad English, I'm French, so that's... Uh, pretty understandable and I have uh, the friend uh, Skiva too doing some quick tip series. So this is a great family and you can join us too on our Discord. You will have a link in the description and you can talk with people, share your renders uh, and meet new people and I think this is uh, really great to discover uh, new things. So please check out all the links in the description and have a nice time. So let's jump into C4D and check uh, what's inside the French monkey pack. So uh, I will go into my packs and check out landscape kit. So when you download the landscape kit, you have all this and you have all these maps. So you have a preview, you have a depth position, a flow map coming from one machine. Uh, four, four color maps, an uh, eight map and a normal map. So this is really nice in 8K. So just see the, the quality looks uh, amazing. So let's create a new cycle setup to check out our landscape. We'll just take my real time preview, go into QDay, uh, 12 sample. 40 uh, in resolution. I will dock it there because I can show you my uh, two screen. I will go here, cycle 4D. I love cycle 4D. This is a really nice alternative to Octane Render. This is really simple and fast to have a nice result. And I will show you at the end that uh, it's a really uh, nice and fast to render something. So my setup is pretty quick to do. And I love the way it work with all the plugin and C4D and you can uh, really do amazing things very quickly. So I think it will uh, be nice to check the French monkey pack with cycle 4D. So my setup is over and as you see, if I create a new plan, I have my plan. If I create a new character, I have my character. And it, this is a really fast to, 
to render an image to calculate and I love the, the way uh, that you can work with it. It uh, can remind you uh, both Octane and Arnold render with um, real-time preview which is an amazing feature for all the guys who are really bad at, <laughs> at light seed up and want uh, direct feedback and as you will see uh, it calculates really fast uh, like glass materials just just to show you how fast it works that's just a short uh, short, short overview mm, I like it and if you add roughness it calculates uh, still calculate fast and that's a great render if you want to do stuff that's my second uh, render and I love it because you can do much so much thing with X particles but my all-time favorite is uh, still Octane but it's more expensive so let's jump into the French monkey packs and see how you can displace a simple plan in uh, an absolutely great and lovely mountain uh, French mountain because French mountains always look better. So I will not explain uh, my um, um, the things I will do. I will just show you how the pack is because that's a test video and not really a tutorial video. I'm going to be uh, a bit fast on the things I will do just uh, to gain time and focus on the quality of uh, the textures. So as you see, um, Cycle is a, is a nodal uh, system and I like uh, and I like it because it's really fast and understandable to work with. You can do so much things uh, and all the things you do looks great. And I will select my height map there. I will select my color map here. I'll just take uh, this one. And I will um, go there. Texture interpolation, go to smart and just dock it here and here and I have only uh, three um, thousand uh, CUDA cores so you have an idea of um, how speed it will be if you have multiple graphic cards I only have one graphic card at the moment so let's imagine when you have uh, more than one uh, graphic card because uh, I use the same uh, graphic card for display and render so that's why sometimes it's a bit uh, slow but that's not a problem let's put this here and as you see I just have my color map so I go to material settings I have displacement method buff and I will just go to mat, my mat node and I will just go to node setting and for example put a, an higher value and oh this is great this great displacement and I can increase the um, subdivision of my mesh there or directly with the subdivide rate there but I think that's better to put here the first amount because it will do less uh, subdivide uh, calculation and I think that's a bit faster not sure about that but I, I think that's uh, that's great and click here and you have your mountains and they look uh, really amazing. You have a really nice details and that's uh, really, really fun to play with. 
I love uh, I love it. Really love it. And you can do so so much things. And the focus options work well and you can quickly change your HDRI setup with a HDRI link and with cycle 4d you have you, you will have an instant uh, you will have an instant uh, feedback so just take that and wow it changes and that's that's great can do so so much different light setup without uh, breaking bounds in your mind like this one it looks uh, snowy and i like that and then you can add uh, elements or not and i like the way uh, that uh, cycle 4d camera works uh, the cycle 4d camera is really simple to to set like I have my focus point go back here go here just select that go into your camera cycle camera and just increase for example the aperture radius and you have your focus point and so this is a uh, really easy to set depth to your renders and this looks uh, really nice really really nice To have uh, cool uh, cool things and this is a 3d displacement so you you can add objects and it will uh, looks uh, nice so you see the the quality of the french monkey maps i i think it uh, it worth it if you want to have a quickly made um, um, but you can do your own into wall machine but if you want to have a pre-made pre-made stuff it looks great and you have a different kind of textures and I think that's uh, really nice and really easy to, to change just uh, change the texture and you have um, another environment in seconds and you have 10 different uh, environment so it works it if you want to create uh, some scenes or some background and for me that's a really great a really great pack and I, I like the snowy mountains and I will render this we cycle to show you uh, how fast it works let's take um, this let's go into tiff let's put random numbers okay 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 and just render it to see how fast it is and you will have displacement you will have uh, global illumination, you will have uh, depth of field, you will have ambient occlusion, and that's really, 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 really fast, really nice. And I've made uh, by in the past some mountains, so that's a, a render by myself with uh, some displacement and this looks great and i've made uh, other renders many people use uh, mountains in their render like uh, the friend mitch mears too um, uh, i made uh, a really cool render i think we on it like that <laughs> So you can create a fly over the mountain and just one minute for uh, a map with displacement, with ambient occlusion, with uh, global illumination. That's a 
very nice renderer and let's do really quick color correction into After Effects and just enjoy it. So I hope you have a quick look inside the French Monkey Pack. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's put a thumbs up into the comment and let me know if you use uh, the French Monkey Packs and if you love him and uh, let's uh, put it okay and just color correct it uh, really quickly just to have uh, a better looking so i will use magic bullet looks just really quickly to have uh, to give it um, uh, a small uh, small look mm. don't really know which one i will use i think this one is nice just put it uh, like that just put um, the vignette and i think it's uh, it's nice and let's imagine you fly through put uh, some some space element or cool stuff i hope you guys enjoyed this video and Please feel free to subscribe to the channel, join us on our different Instagram, check out the French Monkey website, join us into Motion Designers Community and subscribe to the channel for great tutorials, um, interviews and like today some product overviews. See you guys and have a nice day.